do a video on taking the trim off of your hatch. Couldn't find anything online, so I'm gonna start by taking this off. Uh, I've already started, so that's why it looks a little loose. But anyway, this shoves in here and there's a tab in there. Well, you can't see it, but you'll shove it and you'll kind of press out and then allow you to pull on this side. Then the same thing to that side. That piece taken out, that's the tabs I was talking about. Like I say, you, I put my tool in here so they press outward like that to free them up, both sides. Then you pull it straight out. On this, I put a pry tool, plastic, so it doesn't mar up your plastic, under here and pull it straight up. I haven't put that side yet because I gotta see what's in here. I have two T30s. And after that, I believe everything else is gonna be clamps. And then one hook up for your light. The same as you do this side. You'll pull here, you'll pull here, and then just go around it pulling. Or you can use your plastic tools. And uh, your light, you'll pop out to get to this connector, and then this will be free. We'll move on to those things. Here's what the bottom side looks like after you get it off. The only thing is, be watchful for these. Sometimes they will slip off of the areas. Same thing with these. These will slip off or stay in. Uh, like I say, here's one that stayed in. So you want to watch out for those and these. Just got to find where this little guy goes. This is like a rubber, but it pops on here somewhere to keep this thing from rattling, I'm assuming. But like I say, didn't break anything doing it that way. So I'd say you're pretty safe to follow. So with this part, you kind of got to get violent with it. Uh, it's a little bit scary, but on these, you push them inward all the way around until it pops free. Like I say, I started there and I pushed. It does take a little bit of force all the way. I didn't use a tool, just my hand. Didn't break anything, thankfully. But that is how you get those off. Hopefully that helps somebody. We have a release in here. Kind of hidden a little bit. I almost thought that was like a screw hiding under there, but the other side didn't have it. So I just popped it off and lo and behold, there's a cable that goes to it. So that's your release. If you used to be, I guess, stuck in the car, or your actuator motor wasn't working possibly, dead battery, something like that. But anyway, that's what your clamps look like that are hiding in there. Like I say, everything is um, made at the angle to clamp in, so you have to push outward on it. Porsche did pretty good on their plastic. So far, taking this car apart, I haven't broke any, any of the plastic, so that's a big plus. Another thing, when you do finish popping this out, go around all your holes, because uh, like I say, sometimes these will stay in. Like this little thing here. That all needs to go back on for when you pop it all back on. And you don't want to move this and it fall on the ground and come up missing any of these because I'm sure you're going to need them for it to sit back in there securely. And if you're lost on where this stuff goes, there's still plenty of them over there to look at and make sure you get it correctly. 